Welcome to the Swear Wolves Horror Podcast YouTube channel. I'm Brett. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to this channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. Please consider clicking the subscribe button as well as the notification bell below. We upload videos on a regular basis in which we review anything and everything horror, from action figures and toys to soundtracks to various collectibles, you name it. And today, we're going to be talking about this Ash figure from the Evil Dead series from NECA's Toonie Terror line. Yeah, this is the latest one in the Wave 3. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on it. I just was able to pick this up at my local Target. Uh, they didn't have the other two that are in this wave, the Nosferatu or the Nun. As soon as I get those, I will make videos on those. But I wanted to shoot a quick video, quick review of this, and talk about it. So let's take a look first. Um, we got the packaging right here. This is the back side of the packaging, uh, which shows the deer head from Evil Dead 2, the fireplace, and uh, very cool little backdrop here. Uh, on the front, uh, it is from Evil Dead 2. It does say Ash, so you can see what that looks. So this is the Toonie Terrors line. We'll put that back there. Uh, and this is Ash. From Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness. Uh, Evil Dead 2, primarily, is this look. But uh, I really like this figure. It's a really cute figure. It's a really, it's got that Bruce Campbell, you know, smarmy look to him. He does come with a shotgun accessory. This does come out. And you can put it in the back right here. Obviously, he has his chainsaw on his hand that he had to cut his own hand off and fight let's talk about the articulation real quick um, there is minimal articulation in the head it doesn't really turn from side to side well kind of but it's more of just uh, up down it, it does turn side to side you just it's just a tight fit so um, shoulder movement up and down there is some movement in the chainsaw so you can twist it but there's no movement in the elbow over here on this side he does have movement uh, in the elbow so he can reach back grab his shotgun and hold it out or you can just have his arm down by his side like that and then we got some movement looks like right there in the hips no movement at the waist and then no movement at the feet. He does have um, a peg hole in the bottom right here so you can stand him on a stand, but his feet are big enough and his weight distribution is good enough that he will pretty much stand on his own and not fall down even if I bang on the table like that. Uh, I do want to put, well let's take a look at the shotgun a little bit more closely. It's just a cartoon version of a shotgun which sits nicely right here in his hand. This is his boomstick. If you're familiar with Army of Darkness. Like I said, the Bruce Campbell look, that kind of smarmy, suave, such a ladies man look. Uh, good detail, even though it's just a simple figure, there is good detail on this. It does you know, represent what the character of Ash does look like. And anybody who knows anything about those movies will know that that's who it is. Got a little bit of a cut there on his cuff of his pant leg, which is a nice little touch. And it looks like, you know, a little bit missing right there. I don't know if that's intended or not. It looks like it's intended. But all around, it's a good figure. It'll look good with the rest of the Toonie Terrors that I have collected thus far. Um, so, like I said, I just wanted to do a quick video where I talked about this latest pickup. And if you like this video, please click the like button below. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, you feel like you want to, click both the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. We are the Swearwolves Horror Podcast, and we do a weekly show in which we review horror movies. So please check us out by searching for The Swearwolves wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. You can also visit our website at theswearwolves.com. So, for The Swearwolves... I'm Brett.
Hi, this is Brett with the Swearwolves, and when I'm not editing videos or making content for YouTube, I just sit here and wait. Just wait. If you like the video that you just saw, go ahead and check that video out right there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button right there. I'll wait.